Hello everyone, this is going to be a super quick video. I'm going to show you how to create toolbars and I think it's not what you expect. I don't know how many people knows about this but I use it all the time and I pretty much like it actually and I hope you do too. I'm sure you have your own toolbars because it lets you access easily the most used tools but there are certain things like when you're modeling something like rapid tools I use it all the time when I'm doing modeling but not all the time I'm doing modeling so I don't want my toolbars to take up some space that's why I use menus most of the time and the tools you can create shortcuts for that but if you have more tools to use that means more shortcuts to remember and of course you can create your toolbars with the shortcuts you would use and you can enable disable them when you're going to use it or not but if you already have menus and you like to keep things organized with sub menus and dividers why wouldn't you use your menus and sub menus as toolbars i will show you how it's actually pretty simple only thing you need to do is click this line and now you have your toolbar out of every menu you have if you don't want to use this or if you want to have more toolbars like geometry i use it all the time click this now you have geometry if you need something else like corona toolbars click this and put it here and now while working you're gonna have different toolbars and when you open max again they will disappear and that's kind of the beauty of it actually it's not something you need to save or you need to place somewhere or enable disable when you're going to use it or not it's always gonna be under the menu and it's gonna be hidden while not in use when you need to use something in this case geometry if you're modeling all you need to do is go to the menu and click that little line and you can place it wherever you want I'm gonna disable it and it's gonna go back into its position and that's it it's really a simple thing but makes a difference when you're working on some things and if you want to see more time saving tips like this please don't forget to subscribe and also i would appreciate if you share these videos with your friends it would really help and if you like this content please give a thumbs up or if you have any questions suggestions or requests please leave a comment and i will do my best to reply that's it for this video thank you for watching and have fun modeling